गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स लेट एस बिगिन द सेम टॉपिक द एड्रेस लेट एस कंटिन्यू द पैसेज फ्रॉम हेयर द लाइन्स आर आई लुकड एट द नेम प्लेट अगेन डोरलिंग इट सेट इन ब्लैक लेटर्स ऑन वाइट एनिमल एंड ऑन द जैम्प अ बिट हायर द नंबर नंबर फोर्टी सिक्स As I walked slowly back to the station I thought about my mother who had given me the address years ago it had been in the first half of the war i was home for a few days and it struck me immediately that something or other about the rooms had changed i missed various things my mother was surprised i should have noticed so quickly then she told me about mrs dorling i had never heard of her but apparently she was an old acquaintance of my mother whom she hadn't seen for years she had suddenly turned up and renewed their contact since then she had come regularly some meaning sir enamel means here an opaque or semi transparent substance that is a type of glass Jamb means side post of a window, fireplace or doorway. Acquaintance means a stranger or social contact means here somewhat familiar. Explanation of the above passages is the protagonist means the narrator looked at the number plate again. It said it said number 46. Dolling was written on the plate on white enamel as she was going back to the station she was thinking about her mother who gave her the address it was the first half of the war she was home for a few days and suddenly it struck her that the room was different now various things were missing her mother was surprised that she noticed the changes a little later It was that time when she told her about this woman Mrs Dorling she was an old contact of hers whom she hadn't seen for years Suddenly she came to visit her and since then they had been in regular contact Every time she leaves here she takes something home with her said my mother she took all the table silver in one go and then the antique plates that hung there she had trouble lugging those large vases and i am worried she got a crick in her back from the crockery my mother shook her head pityingly i would never have dared ask her she suggested it to me herself she even insisted she wanted to save all my nice things if we have to leave here we shall lose everything she says have you agreed with her that she should keep everything i asked as if it as if that's necessary my mother cried it would simply be an insult to talk like that and think about the risk she is running each time she goes out of our door with a full suitcase or bag Dear students, uh, some meanings are here. The above passages belongs to the textbook. Lugging means to carry a heavy object with great effort. Pityingly means feeling sorrow. Crick means cramp or spasm in muscles. Explanation of the above passages is: Her mother told her that whenever that woman came to visit her she took something from the house with her table silvers antique plates and she had trouble over carrying the large vase she told her that the cramp in her back came from the crockery her mother shook her head in sorrow the woman kept telling the protagonist's mother that she wanted to save her precious things if they had to leave the place some day they would lose everything
so these are the lines these are the lines of the passes uh, which is being explained over here she asked her mother if she really wanted her to take all the things with her her mother replied that even if she didn't it would be an insult to talk her not to she was going out with the risk herself a suitcase full of items further lines from the textbook are my mother seemed to notice that i was not entirely convinced she looked at me reprovingly and after that we spoke no more about it meanwhile i had arrived at the station without having paid much attention to things on the way i was walking in familiar places again for the first time since the war but i did not want to go further than was necessary i didn't want to upset my myself with the sight of streets and houses full of memories from a precious time in the train back i saw mrs dorling in front of me again as i had the first time i met her it was the morning after the day my mother had told me about her i had got up late and coming down stairs i saw my mother about to see someone out a woman with a broad back there is my daughter said my mother she beckoned to me the woman nodded and picked up the suitcase under the coat rack she wore a brown coat and a shapeless hat does she live far away i asked seeing the difficulty she had going out of the house with the heavy case in marconi street said my mother number 46 remember that some meaning sir reprovingly means critically beckoned means signaled explanation of the above passage is her mother noticed that she wasn't convinced and looked at her critically after that day they never talked about the incident again she reached the station without noticing any details on the way she passed the familiar things after the war for the first time she didn't want to upset herself with the familiar sights of houses and streets that reminded her of all the precious times back in the time she saw mrs dorling in person a day after her mother told her daughter about her she woke up late that morning and as she was going down stairs she saw her the lady with broad back her mother was seeing her out her mother introduced the protagonist to the lady she signaled to her and the woman responded with a nod nod means nod means in agreement or agreeing form the woman responded with a nod she picked the suitcase under the coat rack she was wearing a brown coat and a shapeless hat the protagonist asked her mother if she lived far away the mother told her the address marconi street number 46 she remembered it further passes from the textbook is i had remembered it but i had waited a long time to go there initially after the liberation i was absolutely not interested in all that stored stuff and naturally i was also rather afraid of it afraid of being confronted with things that had belonged to a connection that no longer existed which were hidden away in cupboards and boxes and waiting in vain until they were put back in their place again which had endured all those years because they were things but gradually everything became more normal again bread was getting to be lighter color there was a bed you could sleep in unthreatened a room with a view you were 
more used to glancing at each day and one day I noticed I was curious about all the positions that must still be at that address I wanted to see them touch remember after my first visit in vain to Mrs. Dorling's house I decided to try a second time now a girl of about 15 opened the door to me I asked her if her mother was at home no she said my mother's doing an errand no matter I said I will wait for her dear students some word meanings are here liberation means liberty or freeing endured means suffered vain means here hopeless explanation of the above passes is she remembered the address but she took too long to visit the place after the freedom she was on one hand not interested and on the other was afraid she was afraid of getting confronted with the past memories and connections that no longer existed connections were hidden in cupboards and boxes it seemed that those memories were waiting in vain to put them back to their places as they had suffered all these years because they were only things things were getting normal in the protagonist life but one day she got curious about all the things that were still at that address she wanted to see them and touch them after the first hopeless visit she decided to try one more time when she reached Mrs. Dorling's home a girl of 15 years opened the door protagonist asked her about her mother she told her that she was outside doing some errands to which the protagonist decided that she would wait for her so dear students let us have only the explanations till today thank you